Hey everybody, Dave Brodor, AKA Locked and Loading here today to give you part one of my three part series with Adobe Stock. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into Adobe Stock 3D assets. We're gonna license a particular 3D object based on your own concept and theme. Uh, mine's going to be a coffee mug and what we're gonna do is we're gonna emit particles around it. But the important part is we're gonna use that to drive the entire animation. We're gonna do this quick and efficiently. We're not gonna spend and waste a whole lot of time modeling a coffee mug because the whole idea of this is how do we produce more work quickly and efficiently. We've got a ton of client projects to do. We've got a ton of personal projects to do. And, and we, you know, the today current culture is all about how we pump out a lot of work. How do you keep producing? You know, we're sh all short on time. We're all very consumed by all these different technologies, all these different platforms that we have to produce content for. And Adobe Stock is going to help us do that really quick and efficiently. So let's not waste up any more time and let's just jump right into it. All right, so we're gonna hop right into Adobe Stock where we're gonna download and find our 3D model that we wanna use for a scene. I'm gonna download this coffee mug here. It's got volumes to it. It'll be perfect for the type of animation we're gonna do. All right, so here in Cinema 4D, all we've gotta do is merge in our geometry. And this is a direct download from the Adobe Stock 3D asset. And I'm gonna center it into my screen and try to fill up the composition. Right? And so the whole entire animation, the main subject focus is going to be this 3D model that we've downloaded. Something that we don't actually have to model ourselves because we're trying to work quick and efficiently. And then we're gonna apply a basic material to it that all comes with the download from Adobe Stock 3D Assets. All comes down as one package 3D file. And now we're just gonna set up our animation. I'm gonna have particles emit out from this coffee mug and they're gonna be these spherical particles and it's going to drive the entire animation. So now this coffee mug is the center of our entire focus. And this is just really the basic layout and the basic animation you can see that we're going to be rendering out. Now that we're happy with our animation, let's jump in and play with color. I'm gonna look at the Adobe Color, pick a complementary color, and I really enjoy using that to kind of help centralize my focus. And then here we go, here's our final render. So now let's jump into After Effects and let's start compositing this. So do, just doing a couple really basic things, we're gonna make an adjustment layer inside of After Effects. And we should apply some basic um, curves to this. So I'm going to get a mask and it doesn't have to be finessed at all, just a really rough mask. And I'm going to just help direct the lighting of the scene a little bit. And I'm going to end up feathering this mask. But right now, let's just grab our curve adjustment layer and do a little color correction. You're going to see I'm going to bring up the mid values, a little bit of the dark values, and a little bit of the light values, right? So I'm just going to pull the center point up and really just dial it in is exactly where I went. So, you know, right now it was a little bit higher, so I pulled it down. Let's feather that edge really smooth and blend this all together. And you can see now I'm getting more of that nice light and dark value from left to right. Now I'm going to add another adjustment layer. And in this adjustment layer, I'm going to apply a, a little noise and grain effect. So I'm going to add the grain and let's just get one of the presets in here. So dial it through, dial through there, figure out which preset that you like. Um, and this will just kind of give it more of a filmic quality. And then you can, you know, tweak the parameters of it until you like exactly how it is. Stay tuned because tomorrow we're going to be merging still image photography and 3D assets from Adobe stock and seamlessly blending them together.